So the movie I want to talk about to you, to you, to to, to no, me, to you today, is the movie Wet Hot American Summer. Wet Hot American Summer. I it, love that movie. It is. I, I was, I hadn't. Oh man. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> He's too nervous. <laughs> I'm stressed. <clears throat> um, I never saw it growing up. I I saw it for the first time just a couple months ago, and uh, that is not true. You say that no, is not we true. We watched this. Yeah, we watched this as kids. I've never seen this before. Wet Hot American Summer. Exactly that movie. I've yes. never seen until this. We this watched last year. it when we were like 15. At nope. your house. Mm-mm. I remember it's, I remember it specifically. Definitely never saw it. Are we talking about the same movie? Are you talking about a different person? I don't believe so. I think that's more likely. Uh, no, I wouldn't have watched this movie with anyone else. I am telling you, we've watched this movie <laughs> no way. together. I'd never I, saw I, it I re- before. Yeah, that's hard to believe, seeing as how you just also not that long ago watched a movie that you had no recollection of <laughs> until the very end. That was Jack Reacher. What on American Summer is much more memorable than Jack Reacher was. This is the one with Paul Rudd, correct? Yeah. Yeah. You're talking about the, the actual movie. The movie, movie, yeah. From from the 90s yeah. or whenever it was. Yep. Yes, yeah, so we watched this at your house. I've ne- I never saw it before I watched it this year. Oh, yes, you did. You know, you had other, well, maybe you had other friends. You had other acquaintances growing up. Uh, not that I would have watched this movie with. Are you sure? I- I'm positive, 100%. Like, not even, there's not even a doubt. I'm pretty sure you had it on DVD. Nope, nope, definitely did not. I'm, now you're I'm, for sure I'm, making I'm, stuff up. Okay, that part might have not been true. I <laughs> thought I remember, but I know that we watched this movie together because I remember you watched it with either by yourself or with someone else, uh-huh. and then I came over and we watched it again. And there's a certain part which is probably one of my favorite lines in the movie where it got to it, and then you said that that was your favorite line in the movie. You thought it was funny. What was the line? I'm trying to remember exactly what it was. It was it was uh, Paul Rudd says it to one of the girls. He's like, he's like, he says, he said something like, he's like, you taste like hamburgers. I don't like you anymore. <laughs> yeah. When he's kissing her on the dock. Yeah. Not, that's not me. We, it wasn't me. I, I, I promise you it was you. <laughs> it wasn't me. It was you. It was you. It has to be someone else. Cause we didn't hang no, out. I, we didn't hang out when we were like 15, 16. It might not have been that age. Well, what, but I know that let's see. I watched it at your house. What year did it come out? Uh, 2000, say... 2001. Okay. So we were... Yeah, it was right in that area. 2002, maybe? We were... That, that sounds about right. Like around 8th grade. I'm, I'm telling you... I'm telling you, movie. it was not me. This is so boring I'm, to listen to. <laughs> Okay, you know what? It doesn't matter. It does. I know matter. that you're getting old. <laughs> that is true. You're, you're flustered because of the competition, but we watched this movie together. All right. Well, but I, I do but not I'll remember you ever watching it before. I do remember watching it this year, and it is super funny. Oh, it's hilarious. Well, let's go through the plot. What What do you think this? What is this movie about? This is about a group of counselors running a summer camp. Yeah. And so it's like a, uh, it's a week long camp, right? That's how long yes. the movie takes place is a week. And it's all about these cancel- like counselors who are like just out of high school, just out of being ca- uh, really campers crappy. themselves. Yeah. Who yeah. are just slacking off and doing drugs and getting into trouble. But the whole movie is, it's insane. It's like a fever dream. Yeah. It's, it's, it's all over the place. Um, I'm trying to remember. I know it's got a pretty big cast. It does. It's got a ton of famous people. Uh, Janine Garofalo, David Hyde Pierce, Michael Show Walter, um, Paul Rudd, Molly Shannon, Ken Marino, Joe Latrulio, Michael Ian Black, Amy Poehler, um, 
what's his name? I don't, oh, Bradley Cooper, Elizabeth Banks. It's got a handful of people. And this, this was all before they were famous too. Yeah, most of them. For at the least. most part, yeah. And, uh, cause like you go back and you watch the trailer and the people they like mm-hmm. show as like, oh, Showcase. look, look who we got is David Hyde Pierce. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't remember who it was exactly, but it's none of the people you would think now. Right. <clears throat> um, but yeah, no, so the movie is, is nuts and it's all about, uh, the government is trying to, Cover something up, right? What are they? It's like a satellite drops onto the camp. Uh, what? <laughs> that I don't remember. <laughs> oh man, are you sure we're talking about the same movie? What on American Summer? Yeah, I don't remember anything about a satellite. But it, was that the show? Uh, it's been a, that might have been the show. That might be the the first season of the show, which is the so. They make, <laughs> they made the movie in 2001. They came out with, uh, a prequel with almost all of the same actors last yeah. year, 2016. So it's been 15 years, but they do it as a prequel. So it's the first day of summer camp. So everyone is 15 years older acting like they're, they're younger. They're younger. Yeah. It's pretty funny. It's so funny. But I didn't, I never finished. I think I only watched the first couple episodes. I remember it being funny though. Yeah, I watched the whole first season and then I I only got through a couple of the second season. I haven't watched that one. Um, but yeah, it's it's real funny. I Paul Rudd is real funny in it because he's kind of just like a douchey dude. I don't. It's it's hard to even really nail down what the plot is other than it's a summer camp. Yeah, well, because it's so crazy. Like, there's a whole sequence. Of when they go into town and get addicted to heroin over the course of an afternoon and come back and they're fine. Like it's, it's right. just, it's all like a ton of little skits and, but it, yeah, pretty much. This is, I would highly recommend this movie. It's so funny. We watched this movie a long time ago. And we, they, there's no way. Yeah, it happened. It did not happen. I'm telling you, it happened. Well, if this movie comes on, what are you going to do? Uh, I will watch this movie. Yeah, I would too. I think this is one... This is similar to like Hot Rod for me, to where I can just kind of watch it at any point and any point of the movie and enjoy it. Even though I think I've only seen it once. It's... It's Twice. so... F- <laughs> it's so funny. Um, uh, I've only seen it twice as well. But uh yeah, no, it's definitely worth checking out. Yeah, I definitely would agree. Um, it's a funny one. So this episode is coming out on February 4th, which means two days yes. ago, Cloverfield yeah. movie came out. Oh, yeah. It was a doozy. Yeah? What was this one about? This one, uh, I believe, <laughs> was... You believe? You just watched it. It's set in uh, space. Yes. On a spaceship. Uh-huh. And there is a monster. And I... Uh, <laughs> Don't give up. Um, basically, it is a... Prequel to Cloverfield, but it's a sequel to Alien. Okay. That's, that's interesting. I, I got nothing for this. I really got nothing. <laughs> Did you ever see the first Cloverfield? Yeah, we saw it in theater. Together? But I'm guessing you don't remember that. No, I saw it like four times in theater. Uh, yeah, we went to see it in theater. I remember the most memorable time for me, I actually went with your yeah. sister. That was not the same time I went. No. Um, and it wasn't, it wasn't a date. We, uh, I had just broken up with my girlfriend who voted for you. Yeah, this is why. <laughs> um, we had just broken up at her, um, prom or winter formal. One of those. I don't remember which Ooh. one it was. Boo. Well, so we broke up like, 
a couple days before. And uh-huh. I told her, I said, like, hey, I will still go with you to the dance if you want me to go. I don't want to, you know, leave you dateless or whatever. And I thought that was a nice... Leave you dateless. <laughs> I thought that was a nice thing to do. I was trying to be considerate. Oh, yes. It turns out she did not care. She did not appreciate she did not that care at all. That no. And so we got there and she was just avoiding me the whole time, which I don't blame her. We just broke up. Wait, but you still went? Yeah. She said, yeah. She said, yeah, I'd like you to come. So I went with her. Ooh, I rented a tux. That disaster. Oh, it was bad. And about ten, 10 minutes into it of me just getting, cause I didn't go to that school. I was homeschooled throughout high school. So I, I didn't know, <laughs> I didn't know anyone there. I didn't know, you know, so she was ditching she me. She didn't know how to treat women at prom. <laughs> she didn't give me a chance. I couldn't even talk to her. She like, as soon as we showed up, she ran away from me. And, uh, yes. about 10 minutes of that, I was like, Hey, would you rather me not be here? And she's like, yeah. I was like, all right. <laughs> I, I'm out. <laughs> she just wanted you to have to pay for everything. I don't remember if I paid for everything. I paid, I definitely paid for my tux and I think I bought dinner. Maybe. I don't which remember is, how that went. Which is funny in and of itself. <laughs> and so I'm wearing a tux and, uh, I left and somehow your sister, I picked your sister up and I picked up Ethan. And I, when I picked up Ethan, his dog, oh, you know what it was? I picked up Ethan first. His dog peed on me. We came over to your house nice. to get you on the tux. On the tux. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we came over to get you, but you weren't there. And so your sister was there. I was like, hey, we're going to go see Cloverfield. You want to come? And she came with us. And so I watched Cloverfield in a tux that had just been peed on by a dog. And a dog peed on. <laughs> for the third time. Very nice. But yeah, that was the most uh, memorable viewing of Cloverfield I had. I want to say when we went to go see it, it was with my wife and her cousin. Me and you? Yeah. I don't remember. I don't remember. All right. Well, let's let's wrap this episode up. This is a short one. Short and not so sweet. Not so sweet, but that's all right. Not all of them can be the best that's, episodes. That's kind of just how we do things. <laughs> the The problem is, what hot American summer we is? We peaked at Iron Man. <laughs> what hot American summer is great. It's uh, it's a hard one to talk about because there's not a great through line throughout the thing. Yeah. But if you it's still cool. enjoy us, if you'd like to help us out, <laughs> if you'd like to help this decide ruin it. who is yeah. getting punished for the month of February, go over to Patreon and vote for Taylor or Allen. Whoever has the least amount of votes has to pay the punishment at the end of the month. Boo, Allen. <laughs> Boo, Allen. <laughs> you can also follow us on Twitter at I Seen That Pod. You can go over to YouTube yes. and follow or, or subscribe to our YouTube channel where we cut up... Uh, short clips of the podcast and put it in context with some of the videos that we're talking about. Yeah. And uh, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Boss Play. You can check them out. They're over in Oceanside. They're in Escape Room. If you go over to boss-play.com, you can see all their stuff. Yeah, it's cool stuff. 